All right, Dr. Jen joining us now with some of the medical questions yep. that you viewers are asking. First one, if exposed to COVID-19, will quarantining be necessary even after receiving the vaccine? This is almost like a story from my life, right? Because this just happened to me. So the CDC just recently, in the last couple of weeks, issued revised guidelines. Because remember, we, we are still learning about the vaccine protection, new variants, et cetera. They say if you have been vaccinated within the last three months, which basically since we just started our campaign in December, um, most people are in right now, but moving forward in the last three months, it's been at least two weeks since you received the second dose or they or their single dose and you have no symptoms, you do not need to quarantine. Yay, that's something. <laughs> it, it, it signifies progress of some kind, it, right? It does, exactly. All right, question two here, folks. Should we expect COVID-19 vaccines annually in the future? Well, this is a big question mark at this point because, again, we don't know, first of all, annually or every two years or will we need a booster? That is all TBD. It's all to be determined. We don't know yet about what's called the durability, so how long that antibody protection lasts. And again, this is a virus, like any other virus, that constantly mutates for a living. So we don't know if we'll be putting different variants into different vaccines, much like we do for the influenza vaccine. Okay, but after the three months we were just talking about, what do you do? You're supposed to go back and get another I'm one? Or what? Be calling the CDC for right. that guidance. But again, as they as they track people, both in yeah. real life situ situations and in the clinical trials, we'll be getting some more guidance on that. But we need the data first. Okay. All right. Always got a good mom. Well, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> this, so this one isn't yours. This one isn't yours. How oh, much yeah. fiber do I need daily? <laughs> DJ, uh, <laughs> I know. Um, I know you get a lot of fiber, Amy, but that can be challenging sometimes on a keto diet. Yeah. Recommendations are about 25 grams of fiber a day for women, about 36 to 38 grams a day of fiber for men. Typically, most Americans getting about half mm -hmm. that amount, and this is so important, both for our colon health as well as for our cholesterol levels. So. When you are keto, though, you are constantly looking at fiber because it, it cancels the out math. the carbs, yep, and yep, so it's yep. net carbs, and so I'm always looking for ways to bring in new fiber. What does All it right. look like on the plate? Give me a plate of fiber. What am Greens, I looking at? Greens, vegetables, fruits. Okay. 38 grams. No problem. Right. You can Starting. submit your questions like TJ to Dr. Jen on our Instagram at Dr. J wow. Ashton. I got two in today. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.